Hi guys, welcome to Arcanix B Extended, that's what we're on. But the video is about Pycom or uh, Compton. You'll see that um, in the coming weeks we'll update the pycom.conf. And if you don't know what it is, you just always look and use the PAMAC. PAMAC is great for explaining uh, what things are. So Pycom or Compton, and you'll end up with this line. It's a compositor. So we use it in OpenBox and all our tiling window managers, awesome, BSB, WM, Adapts, Luft, and so on. Then you click here, go to files, and you investigate what if I install Compton, what will happen to my computer? Well, all these files will be installed, the application, in user bin, and so on. What I've done and will do is compare the etc xdg pycon.conf with our own. So there is an original file coming from the developers. And what you do, you adapt it. You change it the way you like it. So you do um, a copy, right? This is not on your home directory. So you copy this file, you put it on your desktop, control V, rename it, for example, and tell this is the original. And in this case, I'm on OpenBox and OpenBox is already fixed. i3 is fixed at this point in time. The date is the 8th of March. OpenBox, i3 and Qtile have been already changed. Control X. And this is OpenBox. It means that the content is here, bycon.conf. And this is my third attempt to make the video. And basically what we've done is we took a look at our old pycon.conf and then said, okay, we're missing some stuff over the years. We've gathered applications and classes and names that we don't want to include a shadow. So shadow exclude. So the or here, the original, the right one is coming from Pycom developers and we have adapted their config to what we want. And again, you adapt it to what you want. That's of course the reason for the video. It's all about freedom, knowledge, sharing the knowledge and applying it. So in here are lots of ideas. Do you want to have shadows? Yes, no. True, false. Yes, true. How much shadow? What kind of color for shadow? It's all possible right? shadow red i've made some screenshots about it years ago it's fun right um if you have a vampire look or something like that well vampire wallpaper yeah i get a shadow that's in red can be fun anyway so we've included shadow exclude here what else some things that we have used to be in the older version that are not in there anymore so one of these things is not to have shadow in open box that's possible too so you add this line back to the top here but for now we just well we, we put it there and it's it's just a comment and we'll see test it out fading is possible as well we've set it to false which is a nice effect so your window fades away and fades in but it's slower of course it slows down your tiling window manager um, well response because you have to build it up and then it's it's fades into your window so it's false for us but it can be true for you try it out it's fun inactivity opacity yeah it's okay it's nice it means if you have three four five windows open then the window you're working on is opaque which is means not transparent and the others are but if often we compare between left and right but the right, for example, will be transparent and you will see the window behind it and the window behind there and then a back, the background. So it becomes really unworkable if you want to develop something. So for us, it's um, it's a no-go. And activity opacity is one and frame opacity here is also one. But try it out when it's 0 0.7 and here 0 0.8 and figure I change the variables and see what you like. 
And a tip for the guys on VirtualBox, it's a good thing to try out other links on VirtualBox and then learn and learn and learn. At some point, you should really put it on real metal. So if you're on VirtualBox and you want to have transparency, we mean this by transparency, you can look through the terminal, then you need to set this to false and that's okay. Then you'll get transparency. Another pathway to get our Compton log, which I personally don't use, and some numbers, 0 0.9, 0 0.75, 0 0.9988. Some choices, it's all about choices. If you make a distribution, every distribution is different. It's still Linux, but we made, we all made different decisions, different choices. So it's up to you to make your own choice. How will you make your pycon.conf? But the most important thing for us, it needed an update, right? And uh, we're following theirs. So you can easily, easily uh, compare in the future. Okay, what changed? What did the guys, if you see a PyCam update coming in, your reflex can be, let's check out the etc xdg pycon.conf. Is anything changed? Is there something new, a new variable or anything like that? All right, guys, I'm out. You'll see this um, Compton, this pycom.conf go over all the tiling window managers. Like I've said, Openbox, i3, Qtile are already new, but we'll, uh, we'll put it through all the rest of the tiling window managers like uh, Awesome, BSPWM, etc. All right, have fun changing pycom.conf.